think it's cute, elegant, and it's pretty. So first you want to do is start with your hair all brushed back like mine kind of is. It doesn't have to be really too straight. But this is my hair. This is air dried hair. And you just kind of want to start with your hair all the way back. Just want to comb your hair all the way back. That's how you kind of want to start with your hair. Excuse my um, the deodorant. I'm trying to smell good. That was totally wrong. My bad. Just trying to look that. But, yeah. Next, you want to pick which side you want your part on. Um, because of the deep swoop, kind of like swoop bang, you either can have it on this side or this side. I'm going to choose to have it on my left side. So you just kind of want to make a part. With your comb not too bad and just kind of see how deep you want your part to be and like where you want your part to start so I'm just kind of checking to see where I want my part at and just kind of move your hair to the front a little bit just to see how where it's gonna fall kind of want you can see like it's pretty pretty far to the side kind of like where your arch or your eyebrow is kind of that's kind of like where I do my part you can do it a little bit more up or a little down it just depends so what you want to do then is kind of take the hair on the side where the swoop is and just finger you don't really need the comb just fingering it to the front a little bit so it's kind of going to be over your eye like this and swoop to the front so now, excuse me, see so you guys, the next step what you want to do is figure out like how much, how far, like how much hair you want in the bang. Do you want it to start back here? Some people just want a little bang. I just kind of feel my hands where I want the bang to be, or like how much hair I want swooped to the front, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Just kind of feel what your hair, the part doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of want to feel how much hair you want in the swoop. I sectioned off about this much for my bang. And then the rest of your hair, you just kind of want to bring it back to the side, bring it to the back. And we'll deal with that later. So first what you want to do is kind of just comb it out with your hands. No comb real necessary. Find it out. And then what you want to do is just take a little piece from this side to start your kind of flat twist right here and then you just kind of want to separate it into two like that and what you want to do is take the first strand closest to the bigger section of hair and add just a little piece of hair like take a section of hair and add it to this piece and then you want to take the section and wrap up top like not underneath go over that section and then take another little piece add it to this section so I added this piece here and then take that section and let it kind of twist it over the top you just want to continue doing that by adding and twisting over the top you can kind of see like the twist starting to form. difficult part for me I don't know why it may have been it's just kind of you want to hold your finger here and just kind of push it up kind of there you go right here so you see what I did just hold your finger lightly and just kind of twist it up like that and just push the rest of your over the twist 
and you just want to bobby pin the twist right there and bobby pin it the twist right there so you have this swoop and you want to play with it a little bit sometimes you get some extra hair over there so I'll play with it around a little bit pull it like that so you kind of got this twist and you can do that with that bulging out section and you just you can fiddle with a little take another body pin and body pin that down as well to your hair there you go. Okay, so this is kind of how you want to get your hair to look. Just a cute swoop like that. And if you want, you can kind of just like maneuver your old hair and kind of cover it in the front if you didn't want too much of a protective style. And you can wear your hair like kind of down with it. And cute in the front of your hair or you can kind of wear it all to the side and do like a fishtail braid down so you kind of get that fishtail look but what I do with this style form like a bun a messy bun take your hair tie let's see and just form a bun over there And they look cute with a side ponytail. You can wear the side ponytail if you can. Or what I like to do is just kind of take it, twist my hair, and form like a side messy bun. And that's just kind of how I wear it. Just to the side. This would be me, and this is kind of just the hairstyle that I get. I get the side swoop. And of course you can fix it. I'm just doing it really quickly, sorry. So that's kind of how you want. Yeah, so. so this is the hairstyle that you get. It's kind of like a side swoop twist bang with the side messy bun. If you want your bang to like lay flatter, what I did last time was just kind of tie a scarf. You can tie a scarf over your bang and then while like you're doing your makeup or like getting dressed, it will just lay down and then when you take it off, your hair will just kind of lay flat. And then of course you can do the bun a little cuter style than what I have like fix these hairs underneath that are sticking out I kind of like it a little messy looking and I'm okay with you being able to see the body pins of course if you don't want your body pins to be seen you can kind of like comb the hair over or just place the body pins in a better section so you won't be able to see them but this is just the style that I kind of get I feel like you know if you did it more neater and then like that is a flower or decoration or some type of hair thing you could actually get away with it and you know gel your edges down of course get that you know edge control pomade going on I didn't do it today because it's just kind of like during a day look but if you want to turn it to the night look just you can slick your edges back put a cute like hair accessory in your hair and I feel like it looks really good I have gone out like to a dinner and party and clubbing with this hairstyle and it held up really well and I got a lot of compliments so once again like this is just how it looks let me get it close once again remember like not everything is done perfectly that's just kind of like how I do the hairstyle and I think it's really cute and simple once you get it Figure out how much hair you want in the front. You can just part and go. And of course, like I said before, you can wear a side ponytail. You can wear a braid. If you get real fancy, you can just take your hair and wear like a top bun with it or wear the bun on the other side. But I think it looks cuter on the side, like everything's just going to one side. Or you could just wear your hair, pull back to a ponytail, or just wear it all the way down, like I showed you before, and just kind of 
had like a swoop in the front, like a little accent, but the rest of your hair is down. But I do like this style. I hope you guys enjoy this style. Oh yeah, excuse my makeup. I was just trying to do something different. I'm not like a makeup artist, professional makeup, amateur makeup. I just really don't know nothing about makeup, but I try to do a little something because I'm supposed to be going out to a nice little lunch brunch. So that's why I did this and decided to try to put some, throw something on my face, but excuse my face. I usually don't wear makeup, but this is like my hairstyle and now I'm just blabbing because I just kind of like to hear myself talk, you know how we people do we like to hear ourselves talk the crazies yes i'm part of the crazy group but anyways yeah so i just like to hear myself talk so i'm talking right now just rambling talking rambling looking at myself so once again i hope you enjoyed this kind of protective style i would say it's pretty simple but i thought it was a cute protective style and i like it so i hope somebody else enjoys it if you try it out and find a way to kind of perfect it or do it better just let me know because i always like to improve so if you try it let me know if it works out let me know all right bye